Hello everybody, Alphabeting and Physics here today, and we are going to be looking at the differences between the response of the Ratty Code 102 and GQ GMC 500 Plus. Now these are both beginner's Geiger counters that are relatively cheap in terms of Geiger counters anyway on the market. They're available to everybody at a small cost, is uh, what I should say, I guess. I was requested to use Uranium more to show the differences between the response. So I've gone ahead and I'm going to throw in a few professional meters to show the differences between the GQ, the Radio Code, and more pricey stuff that I have over here and here. But of course, you can't start a video about uranium ores without first measuring metallic uranium. But come on, turn on that alarm! So this meter uses the same type of detector as the last one, which is a GM tube, which is basically a tube of gas and a piece of metal inside that ionizes when radiation hits the metal. Hmm, it's a little reading lower. Not much response on this meter, but that's because this meter is intended for dose rate measurement. But what if we want the highest possible count rate? Well, in that case, we'd go with the scintillator because they gather more counts. This here is a lab quality, research grade meter. We'll have to go to the next scale. We're going over. Let's get these things screaming. Now, the GQ won't seem to get anywhere near here. An explanation for that is simple. Scintillators are much more sensitive than GM detectors. We are already twice background radiation. Looks like we are three times background radiation at 0.3 microsieverts per hour. This meter is going to get very loud. It's not that hard to get tired of that. Now here's something interesting about GM detectors. The probe itself actually clicks when it detects radiation. Let me show you what I mean. I'll hold my microphone up to the detector as it detects the radiation from this odd night sample. Hear that? Okay, here's another one that'll get these screaming. This is a piece of uranophane, uranium ore. Okay, it hasn't so much triggered this one, but I want to see what it does to the other one. Okay, now we're going to be testing a specimen of t -uminite, which is also a uranium ore.
since this is, after all, a video of me comparing the GQ to the Ratty Code, I want to draw your attention to something of their differences. The Ratty Code has a fairly fast response, and the GQ is taking forever to respond. Except when it gets up there. When it gets up there into the thousands, it starts shooting up like a rocket. Nothing much, really, just a few clicks. Up by maybe like 20, or 2 nano roots, 5 nano roots. So what I want to draw your attention to is just how many more counts this meter gets. And that's not just because this is a, you know, professional over, you know, $1,000 meter. That's not why. There are actually cheaper meters out there like the GQ GMC 600 plus that will exhibit the same phenomena. Now why is this? Well, it's actually because this probe detects alpha, beta, and gamma. The other detectors don't detect alpha. And most of the counts coming off of uranium is primarily alpha. So to make this a fair test, I can put this, uh, cover slash filter in place on the probe, and this will allow me to only detect beta and gamma like the other two. So now when I turn this on, we will look at the count rate. Not as high. Well, I hope this cleared up some of the differences between the GQ GMC 500 Plus and the Ratty Code 102. They're both good for beginners, but if I had to recommend one of them to you, I would sure recommend the Ratty Code 102, because it is way faster at responding and way more sensitive. I also thought it'd be helpful to throw in some more professional meters that are a little bit more costly, just to kind of show you what you're gonna be getting if you do decide to save up a little bit more to get something more expensive. Whether you're just interested in this subject or you're trying to figure out what to buy, I hope this video is helpful and interesting. Thanks for watching.